Hey y'all, I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna do this Issa Rae inspired updo, so wish me luck. All right, so I'm starting off on freshly washed and blow dried hair. First step is parting my hair from ear to ear. Now that I've got those two sections separated, I'm going to start with the front of half of my hair. I'm going to be installing 10 medium sized braids going straight back. So to get a clean and sleek look, I'm going to be using this Murray's Edge Wax um, along, along my edge line as well as my roots. Now that I'm done braiding my hair with the rubber band, I'm going to pull all of those braids up and put them into a ponytail. All right, now that I've made my ponytail, I'm just gonna twist those ends up and then put a rubber band on the end to make sure it doesn't come loose. Then I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around the base of my ponytail until I form a bun. And then I'm just gonna secure it with a hairpin. Now it's time to tackle the back. I'm going to take that section and part it into two halves. All right, so using one of my favorite products, which is this olive oil smooth and hold pudding and some coconut Eco Styler Gel along with a few goodie bands. I'm going to put each half of uh, my hair into a ponytail. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of each product, brush it through, and then put it in a ponytail. So I'm gonna split the ponytail in half and working on one section at a time, I'm going to apply just a little bit of smooth and hold pudding. Then I'm going to start two strand twisting that small section of hair. I'm only going to twist it about two or three times and then plait it the rest of the way. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other half of the ponytail. Now with those plaits, just as I did on the front of my hair, I'm gonna take them, wrap them around the base of the ponytail and secure them with bobby pins. And for the last section of my hair, I'm gonna follow those same steps.
All right, so as a reinforcement, I'm going to take some rubber bands and I'm going to tie them around those buns just to make sure they don't come loose. All right, then taking a little bit of gel, I'm going to clean up that kitchen with my um, handy dandy little hair toothbrush. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of mousse to my braids to minimize frizz, and then I'm going to tie it down with a scarf until it dries. Now that my hair is dry, I'm going to take these two pieces of braiding hair that I twisted together and I'm going to use a rubber band to make a loop knot um, to use to attach it to my hair. All right, so now I'm gonna attach one of those pieces of braiding hair and then wrap it around the top bun. And of course, you wanna secure that bun with a few bobby pins. All right, so I'm gonna grab that second piece of braiding hair and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom bun as well as the middle bun, kind of in a figure eight motion. So I decided to go ahead and twist up some more braiding hair just to add a little bit more volume to my buns. I'm gonna attach this uh, third piece of braiding hair to the middle bun wrap it around the middle and the uh, very back section in a figure eight just as I did in the previous step and as you can see it's a lot fuller now all right so the very last step would be to secure everything with bobby pins just to make sure everything stays in place and this is the final look guys this is a very easy style very quick to do um as i stated before this style i got this style from Issa ray she is one of my favorite hair inspirations she's worn a couple styles that i would like to try out in the near future and that i would i will be doing some videos on so give me a thumbs up if you like this video and my son is here he wants to tell you guys something Bye. <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next video